Hey guys, we just got back from our first carnival cruise and I tracked what we packed, what took up unnecessary space in our luggage, and what we really used. So let's take a look. Okay, so I have put all the unique items onto my kitchen table for review before I pack them all together to make sure I have everything covered. Um, I have, you will not see things like, you know, pairs of jeans and shorts and stuff like that. So I, I'll leave it to you guys to determine what you're wearing with the exception. I've, I have a couple of items in here that I've shown just because I think they're good reminders. So let's start from the beginning. Reminder number one that is clothing related is workout gear. So I definitely love to work out. I, I run quite a bit and I enjoy uh, going to the gym and I'm quite excited to have access to some of the gym tools that they have there, which I don't have at home. So I definitely am packing some exercise um, wear and my runners. My runners will actually wear on board so they won't actually be packed, but good reminder in case you're not wearing them. Uh, next to it, you will see something shiny. This is actually an evening dress. Um, I'm all about going big. You know, if we're going to have an evening out, I'm dressing up and I'm going to have a good time. So I do have a very fancy evening dress and I actually have some moderate ones in case my level of guts die down when I actually get there. Uh, a poncho. So this is a Disney um, learnings. It's, it's rained many times when I've been on trips to Disneyland. Um, and they love to bring out their ponchos for sale, which are about $20. <laughs> They're really expensive. I may be wrong on the actual price, but it, it is more expensive when they've got you um, already in the park and there's um, it's raining. So I've learned to pack a dollar store uh, poncho and uh, have it in case you need it. So the only place I'll probably need it, I'm guessing, is if you have a port day and it rains on the port day, um, I'd have it for that. But uh, for the most part, I'm actually not afraid of the rain, but it's good to have. Some Ziploc bags. Um, these are actually extra large. I love how big they are. And uh, therefore, anything that we need, a wet bathing suit, some soggy socks, whatever, you name it, we've got it. That's a laundry bag in the corner. Got it from Dirt Cheap. Uh, it was $4. You probably could get it cheaper at Dollar General now that I think of it, but I didn't see one at Dollar General, so I ended up with one from Dirt Cheap. Okay, these are our drink materials. And actually, I'm going to bring one more over into this shot. Okay, so um, this is my main drink cup. I drink out of this at home all the time, so I'm bringing it. This is for coffee. I'm a coffee person. I need two cups of coffee every morning or nobody wants to deal with me. And then water for the gym. So that's the only reason why I have quite so many cups. Um, and the reason why I bring my own drink cup is because um, I understand that the cups are really small on the cruise ship. So I have a, a larger drink cup for myself so I can fill up with, I typically actually don't drink much juice. So I'll, I'll probably have my, um, with these, use these drinks mixes in my water, but I have it in case I, I want it. And the straws, um, my travel agent actually mentioned that the straws on the Carnival Cruise, they're moving away from plastic straws and the straws that they do use aren't that great. So she highly recommended uh, bringing your own straws and she actually gave me those ones. So, so that was great. So over here we have some binoculars. I'm going to be on a cruise. If I have the chance to see some fish life or something swimming in the water, I definitely want to have my binoculars. Um, these are bathing suits, so I'm sure lots of you are like, oh, I already knew to pack bathing suits, that's not a no-brainer, but the reason why I put it on the table is there's actually two there. Uh, if you have more than one, I would recommend packing both. Um, nothing's worse than putting on a soggy bathing suit, so um, if you have two, it gives time for one bathing suit to dry um, so that you can wear the other one. And if you have a wrap or a cover-up material so that you can wear when you get out of the pool, um, if you're a little bit more modest and you like to cover up as much as possible like I do, um, then you have a wrap that you can bring with you. So this is our allowable wine and our allowable pop for one person. If there's two of you, which there is two of us, we are allowed to bring twice that. So we, we each have one bottle of wine and a 12-pack of pop. 
and that's my sun hat. So I've unfortunately I've had um, skin cancer a couple of times, so I have to avoid the sun as much as possible. So this is my big kind of grungy looking, but <laughs> in my big floppy sun hat, I wear it in the garden all the time, and it's it's really helped me a great deal from keeping the sun off my face. I'm not very good with sunscreen, although I do pack it, and I will be packing it for sure for this trip. Um, so I tend to try and cover up as much as possible. And while we're over in that direction, let's take a look. We've got some swim gear. If you are doing a beach visit on your trip, definitely if you have your own um, swim gear, that's great. Bring that. And that includes the water shoes as well because I really don't like rocks on my feet. So these are some things I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to use. And if I do actually use them, I'll post a video to say yay or nay. But the first one is these are clips. These are standard I, lots of YouTubers talk about using these clips um, and lots say they actually use them so that's why I bought in and I've bought some clips to put um, on my chairs for my towels. We'll see uh, if I do use them but uh, seems like they're pretty popular. Um, this is a notepad so I am a old-fashioned note writer so I do very much um, like to take notes and especially because I'd like to note down things like is the cheers package worth it so we're not getting the cheers package we're going to pay for our drinks and we're going to calculate um, each drink that we buy uh, and what we pay and see how it works out in the end to see if there's value in that cheers package my estimate is it probably works out to be about the same cost about three hundred dollars i think is what it would cost for the two of us but we're gonna we're gonna mark it down so anyways a notepad uh, this guy here is a magnetic uh, notepad and again uh, magnets right there these guys uh, again a lot of youtubers talk about um, the value of having magnets because the ship is metal um, and just about every youtuber taught who's got a packing list talks about that so i'm going to try it out let's let's see if it i uh, use it so uh, let's actually no let's stay over here so um the other things i would don't forget are sunglasses um, it's an easy one for you guys to forget sometimes if you're um, traveling they've stored in your purse you don't bring your purse you're bringing a travel bag instead so don't forget your sunglasses uh, this is a particular lanyard uh, it's actually I think it's a Disney one and you literally put it around a bottle and then you tighten it up and then you can carry it um, on your side I've, I've actually really enjoyed this so I put it on my water bottle and then I can carry my water bottle separately where I go and this is a waterproof cell phone case but I may also use it for our cards or any and like the ship cards that we have to use and uh, anything important um, here's a questionable I pack them for the sake of trying them uh, the little lights for tea lights for inside your cabin we're gonna give that a go and now I'm gonna move over to the more medical kind of stuff so we've got in here um, wet ones these are anti, like, uh, kills bacteria. Oops, we're dropping stuff. And we have the suntan lotion. Well, it's not lotion for sunning, but it is actually sunscreen. And we have earphones, so, or earplugs. In the event that you get a uh, hotel room, or a room uh, that is next to a noisy spot, which I really hope we don't, but if you, like, say you're near the elevators or something like that, um, you can put those uh, in your ear and try and have a good sleep. Um, ibuprofen, I definitely get migraines and ibuprofen tends to help quite a bit. Um, the activated charcoal, um, I'm going to try and find the YouTuber I saw this on because I actually thought it was a pretty good idea. Um, but I've watched so many videos, I lose them after time. But this was one that um, a, another YouTuber had mentioned. And if I find her, I'll put the link on uh, this page to give her credit because it, I thought it was a good idea. So anyways, this activated charcoal, if you get sick, um, it can soak up some of the um, toxins in your stomach. I've never heard of it, never used it, but I'm going to give it a go in the event that you get an upset stomach. And this is ointment for chafing. So I find that when you go on vacation a lot, um, that sometimes you can get certain areas of your skin that rub against each other that hurt. So um, I definitely want to avoid that. We have allergy medication, swimmer's ear, some band-aids. Um, Deep Woods Off is, I guess, for while we're on our port trip. I don't imagine we'll see any mosquitoes on the boat, but um, I do have a couple for the actual uh, port day. Uh, these are the pretty standard cold and flu type medic medications, um, Pepto-Bismol, 
Dramamine, all these guys I'm sure you've heard about and seen on many other. So, um, but the Dramamine is, is the one that, you know, if you get seasickness, you'll want to have on hand. I've been on a few different ships, none of them cruise ships and none of them long term. I've, I've sailed from uh, Victoria, BC to Vancouver numerous times, but that's an hour long trip and um, from California. Uh, to Catalina Island and actually had a pretty rough trip on that one and, and been okay, but uh, I haven't done a four day cruise. So we'll see if uh, that's ever needed. And baby powder, kind of a Tums. And I think that covers us. The only thing I haven't got and I want to add is um, an Origel for, I have a tooth that's bothering me and then a, uh, some polysporin in the event that you get a cut. I didn't have that on hand, so I'll have to get that after, but that's pretty our pretty comprehensive medical kit. And the last one, cold hard cash and our boarding passes and our passports. So we want to make sure that we have all that stuff together. I don't want to forget it at the last minute. It's all in one of those fancy gigantic uh, Ziploc bags, but we've got it all in one package ready to go. Hey guys, on the what to pack, I have a few caveats of things that um, I won't be showing you on what we actually use. So um, we had lots of things that we packed that we maybe either didn't show because it's just boring old clothes. Um, I won't be talking about any of that. Um, and I also won't be going over the medical kit and I'll just tell you why here. But essentially the medical kit, no matter what, whether I used it or not, I was actually really happy to have it. The last thing on earth I want is on a four day cruise when you don't have access to your family doctor um, to be without some extra supplies. So although we didn't end up needing anything in our medical kit, I'd still highly recommend everybody having a pretty solid medical kit on hand. So, um, and the one thing I did use was ibuprofen. If you've seen my other videos, you will understand why. So here we go. Here's a, a look at the items that we did uh, either use a lot or that to really kind of took up a lot of unnecessary space. All right, we're going to go through the things that we found most useful first. So despite the fact that we got the chairs package after boarding, I still found having a 12 pack of pop really beneficial. So we ended up bringing two 12 packs of pop because we were going on board not thinking we would get the chairs package. Uh, but with the last minute decision to get the chairs package, it kind of changed how uh, our usage was. That being said, I still very much found that one case of pop for two people was still really beneficial. It was nice to have it in the little fridge in the room and have cold pop without having to go up a couple of floors to find a place that um, had pop to, to get. You know, it's still like ordering a drink at a restaurant. You wait for it and have to get it. So really nice, really convenient to have a case of pop on hand. Didn't need two. Uh, one was sufficient for two people for four days, but glad to have it no matter what, what cheers package or not. This is that fancy Nancy laundry bag that we got from Dirt Cheap. Definitely used it. It was great to have. Um, stored a laundry or dirty laundry, kept it out of the way. They had hooks on the wall already and we just hung it to that and it, it held up just fine. So definitely would have a laundry bag. So I also used my sarong. I did not actually use it on the ship itself, but I did use it for a day at Mr. Sancho's. That's the only place that I actually found myself going swimming. So definitely found it useful there. Now, if you don't have a sarong, um, for those of you that don't know, a sarong is just really a piece of fabric that you can nicely wrap around you, usually wrapped around your waist. Um, if you don't have a nice sarong, you can actually get them at the port in Mexico when you land. So it's awesome just go there and they have beautiful colors and I think they were about eight to ten dollars um, so definitely get yourself one at port these were nicely provided to us um, by our travel agent and it was probably the single most used item on our entire trip so these cards pretty much are your access to your programs if you have a cheers program they are access to your funds uh, they are access to your room they are also identification coming on and off the ship so you pretty much have to have these with you at all times in fact you really do so i found myself feeling you know somewhat naked without them because you needed them uh, wherever you went 
So the carrying case on them just made it so easy. Basically, anytime you got up, you put on your, your lanyard and off you went. So these were incredibly useful. So thank you very much, Missy, for those. I used those a great deal. I didn't show this in the first video, but I ended up using it a, a fair bit. Certainly not, um, you know, a huge amount, but I used it enough that I found it very worthwhile to have. But the selfie stick is was fantastic for getting really good shots on the boat um, or getting shots of the boat in behind you while you're at port. So I highly recommend having um, a selfie stick. If you have a newer iPhone though, make sure you get yourself a selfie stick that has the connector for the your phone because a lot of the selfie sticks, this one came from Amazon, um, they don't come with the right connection, connection to your phone. So if you're buying one new because you don't have one, you're getting it off Amazon, check the connector on it. These guys are straws, also were gifted to us um, by our travel agent, and what a fantastic thing. We carried them with us as often as we could remember. I think that was the only challenge that we had, is that we often forgot them, uh, but they were great to have. So Carnival will not be providing uh, straws, did not provide any straws for any of the regular drinks. Um, but with the slushy drinks, they do give you kind of, I think it was an edible straw that wasn't very good. So having these straws with you were excellent. We actually found ourselves going back to the room because we would forget to get them. And uh, we would go back to the room to get them so that we could have them with us for the rest of the day. So now I'm going to move you over to the items that I, I'm not saying don't pack them, but they have, I guess, you know, I'll give you a bit of an update on how they were used. So in my original recording of what I packed, I said I packed two bathing suits, one in case one gets wet and I don't wanna put on a soggy bathing suit. So I did not find myself um, feeling at all inclined to go into any of the pools within the ship. Uh, I guess maybe because I'm a bit of an introvert um, and it's an interesting setup in the fact that every chair basically is centralized around your pool, looking at the pool. <laughs> Great for kids who don't care who's looking around the pool, but for me, I was like, oh, I'm not super comfortable. I don't want to be getting in and out of the pool, and it, I just didn't end up going swimming on the ship. Despite the fact that I'm actually a pretty big swimmer, like I really love swimming. I did it most of my life, but as an adult, I don't so much love bathing suits anymore. So, yeah, at on the ship, I did not go swimming at all. At Mr. Sancho's, however, the beach was a different story. You're, everybody's focus is looking out at the ocean. They're really not as focused on those people going in and out of it, although there is some, but it's mostly, you know, you're just taking in all the scenery. So I definitely went in the water in the ocean and also the water buries you there. So once you get out there, you can really have a nice little swim and it was awesome. So I used my bathing suit finally um, on the day trip. So two, two bathing suits wasn't necessary. If you are going and you don't care about, you know, swimming in those pools and you need two bathing suits, pack two. Uh, but it what didn't end up being useful for me. This is the Elegant Night dress um, that I ended up using, but I kind of now think differently about it. So what I found was that a lot of people don't dress up anymore. So I actually ended up feeling a bit overdressed. It's kind of, it's too bad. It's kind of a neat experience for everybody to get all dolled up, but I understand totally that it's about your own experience and I don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable getting dressed up because that's not their thing. So totally get it. Um, but it would, it in the end would change how I would dress in the future. So one thing I will say is I really liked having this dress for the pictures that my husband and I took. It was really nice to have a really pretty picture in a fancy dress. But outside of that, I didn't enjoy wearing that dress for the entire night. So I actually couldn't wait to get back and put on some, you know, more toned down dress uh, outfit, I guess, in a sense. So when you do your think about your elegant night, you might want to have two options or just go with something more in the middle. Um, or if you're of those people that just doesn't like to dress up, then you'll be fine. Lots of people were not dressed up. So uh, that's that. Okay, we're going to shift over now to the items that were either a complete waste of money or a weak, complete waste of packing space. Here we go. So I know some cruisers absolutely swear by these. You can see mine never made it out of the package. 
first off, we never ended up getting any towels from Carnival, so we didn't have any towels to take to the deck. I found out, I think, on the third night that you could ask for them. Uh, I didn't need them, really. We didn't spend a lot of time sitting on the chairs, so I, I didn't go that route. So these clips to us were not, just they just weren't useful. Um, on For things like drying a bathing suit, I dried them in the bathroom. I didn't feel comfortable putting them out on the deck, so... Uh, I didn't want them to blow away, even though I know the whole purpose of these is to keep them from blowing away. I, things come undone and, and fall out, so I just, I didn't use them at all. Just for four days, it just didn't end up being worth it. These little guys, I took them out of the package, stuck them on the wall, simply for the fact that I wanted to see, do they work? They do, but that's how they got used. So um, they were really, honestly, a waste of a dollar. This guy, same thing a magnet we didn't need a note system whatsoever so uh, I didn't get use out of it however I'll use it at home so it's just fine but not needed for the trip it, it was too easy to just say I'm headed to here and I'll be back it really it, you didn't need to leave notes these guys you can see they never made it out of the package um, lots of comments online that the rooms are really dark um, and, and maybe so, they are dark, but um, I just never found the use for them. There are lights if you need to use them. Uh, my husband often had the TV on, which provided some form of light. So I didn't end up feeling the need that it was so dark that I needed any extra form of light. These two drinking holders, the coffee one and the water one, did not end up using whatsoever. Definitely a waste of packing space. Um, this was a challenge because I really should have remembered, like for environmental purposes, it would have been nice to remember and bring this down when I went to get coffee every morning. Um, however, they provide you with a coffee cup. So I didn't do that, kind of maybe regret I did, but um, it, it just was a matter of remembering just like the straws. And the water bottle, I just, I didn't end up using it. I went for a run on the running deck and I I didn't take water with me. I did take my cup. You, I saw on the, you saw on the original um, video of what I packed. There is that pink cup with the straw. I did actually take it. Um, and if I would do it over again, I would just pack that one. Because we had the cheers package, this ended up taking up too much space. So we had two bottles of wine with us. We never used them with the cheers package. So it was really pointless. Um, however, of course, our original plan was not to have the cheers package. If I had not purchased the cheers package, it might not have been, or it might have been more um, utilized. So that might have changed things, but it took up a lot of space for us with the cheers package. And I will do a video letting you guys all know um, whether or not we found the cheers package beneficial or not. So that's it. Essentially, this is how it went. Let me know your thoughts. What did you pack that you wish you hadn't? What did you pack that you were super glad you did? Awesome, guys. Well, be friendly. Be kind.